So let's see, we have uh, another app here. This one I really, really like. Um, it's kind of similar to an app I reviewed last week uh, called All My Enemies. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and go back and check that out, uh, you can view that on the website. Um, but mm -hmm. this one is called Air Attack HD Lite. So just pop this open here. Uh, this one's free. And you would think that being Air Attack HD Lite, that there would be a full version, in fact, for you to check out. There's not. There's no full. So, let's see, I'm going to continue Maybe it's here. light because it's as light as air. Ah. Well, I think maybe they're going to plan on releasing one yeah. that's charged, you know, pay version or whatever, which is good see. for them. Um, but they're not charging anybody now, I guess. But you have two different planes to select from. Good stuff. Uh -huh. Tap to start. I don't really know oh. what the difference is between the two planes. Um, but you earn money on your missions, and at the end of each level, uh, you pop in here to the store. I have 500 bucks. Uh, so I'm going to buy some side planes, which will help me along my way. It's quite an epic journey. So, but everything on here is kind of 3D ish, oh. you know? And they have that same Ooh. mechanic as all my enemies where you drag your thumb around to aim. Uh -huh. Or you can tap on a certain part of the screen and it'll uh, it'll jump clear over there. Um, but they also have it where you can uh, control the the uh, the plane. Like It changes the controls just a little bit so that it's not uh, specific on the screen like it is. Like if I have my thumb in one place on the screen, I see. the plane's always going to be in that place. It's more of like a trackpad kind of thing. Yeah, and they have another one that makes it relative, so yeah. uh, you're treating it more as like a joystick instead of a trackpad that's kind of enhanced with the side scrolling that this has. Uh -huh. So that so one's gotta go up pretty much tap like touch that to, touch to drop to bombs. Oh, okay. And up here, you have Whoa. a bomb meter that recharges. So it tells you when more are ready. This part of the level is really interesting, though. They kind of start introducing uh, these puzzles the further along you get so that you have to uh, limit yourself to a specific area. Any you know? Anything with Tesla coils is cool. <laughs> right? That passes the nerd. Uh, oop, oh, I hit one. There you go. Ooh, you and I'm down. So I'll exit oh. to the main menu there. Just wanted to give you a good shot of gameplay before. Yeah. That is like... In. So... That music is high intense. Scores. Um, but let's see. Here in the settings is where you can change your uh, controls. I'm on touch, but relative touch, again, uh, is yes. different. Joy pad or tilt, so you can control it with your phone. Mm, I don't know, it's a little bit too gimmicky. I like yeah. this touch interface. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so music volume and effects volume. And buttons layout. So a couple different options there. Um but it, it does nice it keeps uh it keeps your place even if you die and you crash like that mm -hmm. uh you don't have to go back and completely uh, nice. beat all the first levels again or whatever oh, nice of them. um but i'm sure you just uh oh no look see oh it picks it picks it up at the last place so i have to go back and buy the side planes again and everything and it has my score and money from when i last had that checkpoint but then I have to go back through and beat this whole level again, which I'm not going to do right now. So it's good stuff right there. It's free. It's a pretty awesome game. I love the graphics on this. Um, like I said, pretty similar to All My Enemies, which some people uh, have have been playing now. It's getting a little bit more popular. Mm -hmm. um, just a little bit uh, souped up, I think. Yeah. I, I like this one more, to be honest. That's so, cool. There you are. I like it. So if you like that last review, definitely check this out, too. I do. I do a lot. <laughs> that game, like, it really has a lot of, like, nice touches to it. Yeah, there's, uh, there's like, bridges that go across the river, and there's a train that's uh, coming carrying these huge missiles or whatever, and you have to bomb the bridge so that the train doesn't make it through. Then you get points off of that. And then there's another part of the level where the train's traveling, like, along up uh -huh. as you're flying, and you have to bomb from the back of the train forward huh. and to, like, destroy the train till it gets up to a certain part. Because, hmm. like, the back has some missiles it's launching at you or whatever. So, but all this happens as the waves of planes are still coming at you. So you're mm. playing the level, 
uh, it almost reminds me of like when you play pinball and you mm-hmm. all, you have those special little things that you have to uh, get off to the side to really get good points. Yeah, that's what this is. He he's the guy that's made this game has kind of layered these small things in hmm. uh, to make it just a little bit different from uh, what you're used to playing. That's cool. I like it. So yeah, it's my it's my new favorite. 